I want to ask you if there's any alternative to democracy. No one questions it. We're left as uh, victims to discuss the outcome. Well, we first of all, Maurice, have to narrow down the term to modern Western democracy. <laughs> I think democracy in Athens, in Greece, once upon a time, uh, was something different. Uh, today's modern democracy uh, is built on the foundations of a model of a state called the secular state. And it separates religion from politics. And uh, it uh, identifies the individual as the unit of the state. And therefore, it is the individual who makes a choice and expresses that choice in what is called elections. This is the recipe for the destruction of the group, the tribal relationships that the Lord who created us gave to us. That we bond together in groups and in tribes, nations. And that bonding together is a form of social cohesion. And so it is the group which should express itself and make a choice collectively. And within the group, the process of debate and consultation would take place. And when the group has made a decision, then the leader of the tribe or the chief would express on behalf of the tribe or the group the decision. This form of democracy allows the tribal relations to remain intact. And unless you have these tribal relations, <laughs> unless you have the groups which remain together and have a common bond of elementary loyalty to the tribe and obedience to the chief, the tribe, society can be endangered. Society can begin to unravel and you can end up with a jungle of beasts. <laughs> what the modern political democracy has done with a system of elections in which the individual is the unit of the state is to preside over the destruction of those social bonds of cohesion. And so we are witnessing now the dismantling of society around the world. Wherever the Western system of democracy has been accepted and absorbed, that's the first uh, sad reality. Uh, we in Islam, we never had this circus called elections. We never had it in which money buys and <laughs> every man has a price. What we had in Islam is a system of participatory democracy in which the groups participate, not the individuals. And so a process of consultation will take place within the groups in which women are consulted just as men as much as men are consulted. And when that process of consultation has been completed, and in that process of consultation, the groups will give more wit to the opinion of the wise and the learned, <laughs> who, may, who may be poor and have no money. But the tribe recognizes this to be a sage 
a man of wisdom. And so his opinion would, would have more wit than dozens of 18 and 20 year old. And when the tribe takes a decision, it will be on the basis of mutual consultation in which wisdom and knowledge would prevail. And then each of these tribes will then give their verdict and the society as a whole will come to a decision which will be representative of all the tribes and all the groups. If you live in a homogeneous society, then you are living in a society of one tribe. But nowhere in the world today are we like that. We are a people of many different tribes and nations. And so, this is my first comment on this circus called elections, which is such a negative development of the modern age. Uh, my second comment, Maurice, is one with which you would be familiar. And uh, in the Western world, there are many who speak even far more eloquently than I can about the role that money plays in elections. It is massively corruptive of the society and it gives to the rich a capacity to control, a capacity to maneuver, manipulate and to become kingmakers because money has the power to influence elections. Um, <coughs> thirdly, you, you have the dual uh, um, you have the election system and you also have the media which is used in a massively dishonest and corrupt way to manipulate people's thinking and to brainwash people to think in a certain way and to vote in a certain way. Uh, in the Quran, Allah Most High has warned us that if news comes to you from an untrustworthy source, be careful to investigate it, lest you blame the innocent and live to regret it. The source from which we get news today, the radio and television, newspapers, are manifestly untrustworthy. The mainstream will never, 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 never admit that 9-11 with a CIA and an Israeli Mossad job. They will never even question the official explanation. That is their integrity or lack of integrity. So all of these factors combine to make this circus called elections an extremely negative development in modern society. 